Welcome back, everybody, to Unconditional Surrender. This is Dren608 here. Uh, the game is designed by Salvatore Basta, published by GMT Games. Uh, this is the Cuckoo uh, series. Uh, Cuckoo stands for CUCU, -C which is Cripple the UK and Collapse the USSR. That is what my opponent's strategy is. Uh, I may actually try to mirror this when we switch sides and play again to see how he defends against it just because I'm curious on how you try to fight this. Um, so we'll get started. We are going into October of 39. There are several turns here. I'm going to start a timer and try to keep these videos down to half an hour at a time. So I may split this uh, vlog into two parts. We'll see how far I get. And where's my little start button? There we go. So we're off to the races. We've already done weather. Um, we... Uh, Oh yeah, I actually had an eliminated... We had to get some units into uh, the mobilization box. We forgot to do that end of turn last turn. And now we are checking... I think I was checking to see how far I could fly my French aircraft. Uh, so, um, Declarations of War... That was me saying I corrected that. Um, that was me just kind of cleaning up counters everywhere. Uh, putting control markers in the places that I control. Uh, makes it easier for me to remember. And... Marking them. Marking all the things I still control. Okay. So. That was me straightening things up, and then my opponent joined us. And, uh. So. He declared war on, um, I don't know why that army is there and that garrison is there. It shouldn't be there. Uh, he shouldn't have been able to build those yet. Anyway, he declares war on Hungary. Um, I couldn't think of a good way to set up Hungary. There's no good way to defend Hungary. Uh, so we're into production. Bay, so that's fairly straightforward. He should not have had those armies built. So he moves his uh, army. I don't know what he's doing. I think he was trying to figure out where to put his armored. And then we took those off. I said, you couldn't build those yet. Okay. Strategic movement. I went ahead and moved the French up one space. Um, I can't go through his airplane, but by moving up a space, I now, you know, when he comes to attack me up here, I won't be isolated because I have the controlled city behind me. So I was just trying to avoid isolation. Uh, and so there's no strategic warfare, strategic movement. So now we're into Axis operations. He gets that infantry unit. He says, "Get out of there. Let's go keep this Frenchman from being able to move next turn." And I think he attacks me because we have fair weather. Remember, we have fair weather in. The mild zone. So he's attacking me at plus two. I think he throws in an airplane. I may even throw in my tanks here. I'm not sure. I think we went to combat commitment. So right now it's plus two to plus two, and uh, I committed as well so that uh, he would be at plus four. What did he do? 
He threw in a fighter right here. Oh, I could have sworn I threw in my tanks. Yes. We've got a little bit of our head of ourselves. So there we go. So it's 2 plus 4 is a 6. And I rolled a 4 plus 3 is a 7. So I held on for a turn. And the next time he's going to be able to attack me again at plus 4 to plus 1. He rolled a 2 plus 4 is a 6 again. And I rolled a 5 plus 1 is a 6. So I am getting phenomenal luck here, which bodes ill for the late game. But, uh... So it was uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So he should be down to... This is his last attack. And... Again, a 2 plus 4 is a 6, and a 4 plus 1 is a 5, so I just barely held the hex. So it worked. Um, and then he moved that airplane out of range of the French aircraft. He was like, no, 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 we don't want to be fighting no French aircraft here in Denmark. We want to be safe in Denmark. <laughs> he didn't like that I could actually reach that hex. So, and I don't blame him. So, on we go. Um, now it's the attack into Hungary. Comes across with the infantry. Um, he started to bring that infantry, and yeah, he still has three. So, he comes there and attacks this garrison at uh, plus one to... Or this garrison. I can't remember what he did. I know I'm at minus two, and he's at plus one. And I don't have anything to play, So he and he rolled a one, so that's a two. I rolled a 4, minus 2 is a 2, so, and that's all the attacks he could do with that particular guy, he brings the armor down, 1, 2, 3, 4, so he should have 6 left, um, he's attacking across the river at plus 3, he rolled a 7, I rolled a 1, minus 2, so poof, I go away, and then he attacks again, I said, do you have a nose under zone control, he's like, I think I'll go there. So it means this guy can't retreat. And he rolls a 7 again. And the best I can get at minus 2 is a 4, so I will be eliminated. And he chooses not to take the hex. Because he wants to have the city isolated. And then he's going to attack with the infantry. Um, so he's plus four, minus two, so he's plus two, throws in an airplane, and he rolled a two plus four is a six, I rolled a five, and he should have another attack, plus two plus four is a six, and finally I rolled a one, so I was like, I almost thought I was going to hang on to Hungary for one whole turn, but not to be. And... He chose not to take the hex. Again, he's playing the he's playing a very cagey game here of um, setting up miners that all he has to do is walk in to conquer them. Okay, and he's waiting to see if I get some political success that he doesn't like. Then he goes up. Oh, I just con conquer this one and get rid of that. And I was like, well, that's kind of cute. Um, I thought he was going to take it and get rid of my my Greek thing. But he said, no, 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 I'm going to hang on to it for a little bit. And I was like, okay. So I understand his strategy here. And he's moving his infantry up to the east, his permanent eastern garrisons. And he basically took the city along the way. And then he moves that guy up there. So it's like, yep, there's my three infantry. He's got an aircraft in Konigsberg and the one that's on the Polish border helping in the Balkans at the moment. And we were talking about that was so phenomenally lucky on my part, which I agree. I had really good luck. And uh, I looked at this again, and I went, you know, the strategic move was smarter than I thought it was, because I can do this. Boom! And then we go and take on the French aircraft, or the German aircraft. I'm at minus two, he's at minus three. I ended up with a one. 
And he ended up with a two. So I ran him up to six, and I was like, yay! I'm giving him hell. Or trying to, anyway. Um, and I don't think I did much of anything. Oh, I moved the French back behind the Somme. And I moved the British into Lille. This is something that I do as a general rule. Uh, I try to keep the retreat route open for the British out of Lille. And then I put them in Lille so that the German aircraft have to fight the British aircraft early. Uh, rather than waiting until they get to Calais. And we'll see if that works. It, it usually slows the German offensive into France for a turn. Is about all it buys me. And then there's my supply. And... Uh, I ran the convoy. We went to the Soviets, did absolutely nothing. No supply phase. Nobody's removing anything. Replacements phase for the Axis. This is kind of straightforward. Let's get my airplanes back. Uh, and then we're into the West. And I will get my guys back here the French and the British and the Russians don't have any so we're into mobilization for the Axis. Now he gets to build his stuff. So an infantry goes into Kiel. Where do I put the garrison? Garrison down in Frankfurt. And an infantry in Dusseldorf. And uh, I had a point left with the Danes so I went ahead and built it in Copenhagen and I said, ah, make it roll dice again. What the heck? We're trying to hold out in Denmark. Uh, one of the things about the weather table is if you get fair in October, you know you won't be able to get fair in November. Uh, that is one of the quirks of the table, if you look at the lines on it. Um, right here, here's October. If you go to the October fair line on November, um, you'll see you can't get fair again. So you can't get two fair weather turns in October November, which... Helps with some planning. And the Russians just go garrison their stuff. Uh, now we're into diplomacy phase. Um, so the Germans pulled and got a no event. They were kind of upset. And I was like, okay, now what do I do with the British? And I was like, well, I could get a political failure, but I have a outside chance of doing something good. So I spent five, pulled, and got a no event. They said, well, that didn't work. And then the Russians, I believe, spend their five and say, let's put those two new events back in the cup and keep it diluted on the Germans. Trying to slow down their diplomatic successes with all these conquests they're going to have that's going to be hard to do. And I think we're to the end of turn phase, which is where, you know, basically lots of German stuff comes in. I get back my ground support and my tanks. tanks. He gets his airdrop marker. And we are in November. We will roll the weather. I'm going to check my timer. I've got a little over 15 minutes, so we're going to try and get another turn in. Uh, I rolls a 6, 4, 6. Uh, so that's severe. Uh... Four is poor, and a five is poor. So it should be severe, poor, poor. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, and then I think he decided that we were not going to declare war this turn. Uh, we're just doing the production stuff. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, boom, boom, boom. And I gave one to the Hungarians just in case he didn't bother to destroy it this turn. I could build two units because I have two cities. And now he's in the... Uh, you go all the way to operations? I think he started going all the way to operations, and I was like, um, yeah. So we're in operations, 
He kind of didn't let us do any strategic moves or anything. I think he forgot to do his. I think we got back to it later. Anyway, he does an assault on this Frenchman. Uh, throws in an airplane. I think he assaulted just with the armor. I think he was trying to get a double attack here. So he's at like plus three, plus four, minus one. So he should be plus three to my... I was like, we have strategic movement here. So I think we were trying to... We were, we were retroacting. We forgot to... We were like, you know, we blew through strategic movement. He's like, oh, yeah, I wanted to do that. And I think I had one for the Soviets, too. So I threw in my tanks. And it's this aircraft, so we're fighting an air battle. Um, he's minus four, I'm minus three. And he rolls a one minus four is a one. And if I had gotten a six, I would have gotten two sorties on him, but I didn't. So we each took a sortie, but we each got in. So I will be an extra plus two. He will be an extra plus one. So it should be plus three to plus three, I think. It goes up to four. He's three for the armor, one for the airplane. Should be minus one for the weather. And I don't think we're taking off for the weather. What are we doing? I guess he decided not to do that strategic move because he couldn't get through there, which allowed me to move the Danes forward a space. Okay, we're just fixing some things there. Now he got a four plus a five plus four, but he's not plus four because he's three for the armor, one for the airplane, which is four, but it's minus one for the weather, so it should have only been a plus three. So he got an eight instead of a nine, and I rolled a four total. So either way, it was a retreat, so it doesn't matter, but we screwed up and didn't do that. And then here, I had the airplane go back there, um, just because I was trying to make life difficult for him. He chose not to take it with the armor. He comes in with the infantry, so then he's now plus four, minus two, so he should be plus two and an airplane. And we'll be throwing in airplanes each here. I think we figured out the math on the air is neither one of us could get two sorties. So we ended up at, he was four plus three, and I was four plus two. So I held against that assault and I held on to Alberg for another turn. <coughs> and let's see, now we're going to go. And he decides, okay, we've got to take Budapest. So the armor says mine, one, two. Three, four, five, six. Gets ready to go into Romania when he gets it. Yes. We were talking about Greece. I was like, well, you know, do you want to get rid of Greece? I was trying to point it out to him. He goes, nope, I want to put a pro marker in Belgrade. Uh... Who's his armor over there? Who's this guy over here? This guy down there. And I'm like, he got a pro marker in Yugoslavia, yet he's lining up to invade Yugoslavia. So I was really confused. Did not understand what he was thinking about there. But I guess he's worried about me getting off some kind of diplomatic coup here. Then he was done. Um... Western action subphase is... I don't even know if I did anything. Oh, I think I went after his convoy, maybe? Hmm. 
I'm not sure what he did here. Or maybe he's going after my convoy with his surface action mark. British and so now we're doing replacements and then we're going to go over to the west here in a second he flipped over his guys uh, did the replacements for the west which was pretty straightforward uh, Blowing, okay, we're looking in the Diplomacy Cup to see what's there. We wanted to make sure he had two pro markers because he should have, he has Poland and Hungary now. So we just want to make sure we had the right number of pro markers in the cup. And then he pulls and gets a political failure. Wow. Um, wow. What do I do with a political failure? Um... I think what it did is it took out the pro marker in Yugoslavia. Part of me wanted to put a pro marker in Rome to make it harder for him to get Italy, but I have found Yugoslavia is nastier than Italy. Uh, if you get it too early, because he's got all these extra armies to run around and do things in the Balkans. So I took that out. And then... Uh, so now I'm like, what do I do with the British? I said, what the heck? The British can go ahead and pull, and I'm going to have the Russians put the political failure back in, right? I pulled, and I got another political success. So amazingly enough, I got two political successes in a row, and I was like, you know, I just got, I got to go ahead and do this. I just took Greece. Uh, it just, it made sense for me to go ahead and get Greece. Uh, And then the Russians put the political failure back in the cup to try and, again, dilute the cup for the Germans. So I've gotten one thing there. I probably should have done Turkey because that would have forced him, instead of putting a pro marker, would have forced him to put, you know, conquer and take the one out of Turkey. Uh, who knows? So we're at the end of turn phase. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, he think this is just Germans. Yeah, he just gets German. So no, no special things there. Um, and he needs to put his right there. Okay, so we're all set there, and we go into the following turns of weather phase. I think I'm going to go through December, even though I only have seven minutes left. Um, three, four, six in December is da, 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 poor, poor, and severe. So poor, poor, severe. So here we go. Uh, decorations of war. He didn't do any economies are just where they've been all along because there's no strategic warfare yet. Uh, we're going to go to strategic movement for the Axis. I don't remember what he did here. He moved his airplane up to Danzig? Yeah, he moved his airplane up to Danzig. And I don't think that that's actually Eastern Front. It's actually not Eastern Front um, thing. So I saved a point for the French and just moved this guy by strategic movement there. Uh, now we're into operations, and he says, okay, the Danes must die. And so he goes and does an assault here across the across the strait. So he's minus three, plus two for German, minus three. He starts off at minus one to minus two. I think he throws in an airplane. What the heck? Why are we jumping? Yes. So, oh, I threw in, I had a ground support, so I threw it in. So I'm only minus one. So it's minus one to minus one, but I thought he threw in an airplane. Maybe he didn't. So. I don't 
don't understand. Anyway, he rolled a 3 minus 1, which is a 2. I rolled a 6 minus 1 is a 5, so I held. I get the back in two turns. And I don't remember if he bothered to... I ran up my aircraft. And then did the... What is he doing? Oh, he was trying to get the infantry in the in there on the rail line. They moved the armored in to do the assault, because the armored now is uh, three for being in poor, two for German, one for armor and poor, plus two for isolation, so he's plus five. He throws an airplane, he can be plus six, minus two. So he should be plus four to my plus two, I think. If we end up right. Oh, I'm hitting back. So I threw my tanks, he threw his airplane. So it should be plus four... Plus two, he rolled a two plus four is a six. I rolled a five plus two is a seven, so I held. Uh, with the extra plus one there, when he rolled that low, the worst that could happen to me is I'd be flipped. So I held out in Albert again. And I moved the guy off of Dusseldorf so he can build things in those cities and such, and moves up to the Maginot line, daring me to come out of my Maginot fort to attack the garrison unit. I'm like, no, I ain't that stupid. Uh, Western actions, did I do anything? I don't think it did anything. I don't remember doing anything. I think I just did my supply, and we went on to the Soviets, who did nothing. We're in replacements for the Axis. Placing all his airplanes that he can. And then I'm doing the west now. Forgot to move the turn things. Get my stuff all up to zero. Down as far as I can. And then we're in for, uh, mobilization. He builds his infantry there in Dusseldorf. That's why he moved out of there. He went to move. Built somebody there. Um, and he built another garrison too. And... We are into the diplomacy phase again. Uh, the Germans are like, I gotta pull something good, right? And he pulled another no event. And I was like, well, there's a political failure there, and I didn't want to... I was worried about giving him something here. But I think... Yes, I put a political success with the British and the no event back in, trying to give the chance for the Russians to you know, maybe get something like a political success. And then the Russians pulled a no event. So, that didn't work out. Anyway, uh, that should be the end of turn phase for December. So we're going to get stuff from January on our cards, which is what he wants to see, because he gets his tanks marker and his surface section back. So he gets, and he's got submarines, of course. He gets an airplane to be able to build next turn. Gets a surprise attack marker. And we are in January. So, uh, this comes down. And then we rolled the weather. Five, five, three. So, we are going to... Poor, severe, and severe. So 553, five, if you look at the uh, player aid card here. Um, boom, 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 boom. Where is it? So we are in December, February, January. So a 5, you can see, is severe. A 5 is severe. And a 3 is poor. So not best you can do now in Alborg is get a retreat here in January. So I probably will hang on for at least one more turn to Alvorg. Um, the idea is if I can hang on till March and then get my guy out, like in March or April, um, he has to, to take Norway, he's got to basically do it while he's also screwing around in France. That's my goal. Anyway, we are at this point. Uh, this game went on into March of 1940, I believe. So I'm going to actually cut this here. 
That is the rest of 1939, uh, October, November, December of 39, of what I'm com coming to call the Cuckoo Campaign. Uh, the Cuckoo stands for uh, Cripple UK Collapse USSR. It's a very intriguing strategy. I'm trying to figure out a way to defend against it. And you guys will see the results of what's going on. I will say, sort of a spoiler alert, I have had some very good luck with weather. Like, just here, I got severe, so which means he can't really kick me out of Alborg. So I have had some good luck with weather, and the dice have not been totally against me. So, as always, I'm Dren608. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Hit that like button. There goes my alarm. Perfect timing. Uh... Got to stop that. Okay. Um, hit that like button. The YouTube's an algorithm. Uh, YouTube algorithms like it when you hit likes because whatever they do, it makes this uh, findable when people come searching for unconditional surrender things. And as always, stay safe and bye-bye.